We've seen the devastation in our communities and in our states when unions are not allowed to organize. I was just in Iowa over the 4th of July and learned from those great educators in Iowa that after 2017, when the state legislature stripped their right to organize, their ability to use the leverage of the value that they provide in public education, no longer able to organize collectively for higher wages, better working conditions, and better delivery of care and instruction to children, those teachers and educators are leaving Iowa. Minnesota is seeing a bumper crop of physics teachers and chemistry teachers and kindergarten teachers paid for by the taxpayers of Iowa. So as president, I want to make sure that we guarantee the right to organize for every educator and public servant in every state in the union, including in Iowa and right here in Texas. <coughs> I want to make sure that I follow the lead that unions have set to guarantee that you can take time off to spend that with your family without penalty and paid, that child care is affordable in every single part of this country without regard to your income or your zip code, that we have pre-K universal in the United States of America because we know that's an investment that pays handsomely over the lifetime of the beneficiaries and the children, and that health care is not a function of privilege or luck or circumstances, but as a basic human right upon which every single child and woman and man in this country can depend.